Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Ram Report with your NHL, SBI, and Standings Report today for Thursday, February 22nd. Hope you have yourself a good start to your Thirsty Thursdays. As always, don't forget, subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right-hand corner or hit the subscribe button below this video if you're using a mobile device. Today's SBI report brought to you by the Ram Report. You can get the Ram Report each and every day right here at ATSStats.com. All right, let's go to the, um, the SBI and uh, actually let's go to right here we'll go to the dashboard and then what you're gonna do is look for the markets go to SBI and it's gonna take you to the NHL charts right here and uh, we'll take a look at what's come in the uh, market the last few days in the National Hockey League now we know a lot of games have gone over in fact we're riding a six one two three four five day winning streak to the over so watch the bookmakers start catching up guys this cannot just like the stock market right what goes up must come down we cannot continue this pace of overs so if you're betting totals i would uh, really take it easy on the over because we are overextended here on the overs in fact 90 percent of the games i've gone over the last three days 74.3 so if i were you guys i i look at sides or start leaning towards the unders and uh, keep an eye on the total. See if the bookmakers are going to start throwing some sevens out there. Or, or, you know, those teams that are normally five and a half. Watch them creep up to six and six and a half. So be careful on those teams today. And looking at the year average on favorites, 59.7%. On the seven-day average, we're at 63. So we're starting to pull back to the favorites to the yearly average. But we're still in a bullish market for favorites. So uh, watch out for those favorites today. we got, uh, what, 11 games in the NHL today. So we'll keep an eye on those games. In fact, go check out the computer picks. Uh, I just released that video here today. Puck line, if you like to uh, bet the puck line, 54.6% of the uh, underdogs have always done well. Look at that, 60.7 on the season. If you've been following the report here on the channel, I've been telling you guys, start betting the puck line each and every day because you will make some money. In fact, let me take you to the standings right now. And uh, this is what I'm talking about. If you go to your standings, you can see Vancouver, New York, Florida, all with 37 wins on the season. But which team is making you money on the puck line? Yep, it's those B's and C type teams. The teams where the markets uh, think that you've given up on them, right? When you, when you think of public favorites, you think of Vancouver, you think of Colorado, you think of the Rangers, right? They're going to come with a heavy price tag because they're, they're, they're in first place. And, you know, if you want something good, you got to pay for it. And obviously, they're always going to be one and a half, so you're not going to get the uh, uh, the Walmart discount with those type of teams. But you will with Philadelphia, Montreal. Vancouver surprised me. I'm, I'm starting to think it's because they're on the West Coast, small market team, and they don't have a lot of uh, uh, media attention and betting attention from the public. So I think that's why they've done so well on the uh, on the puck line. But look at that, 34 and 24. Same thing with Montreal, 34 and 22. And Philadelphia. 36 and 21. Uh, John Tortorella really got those guys going this year. Uh, which team is the best here on the home ice? Colorado, Montreal, and St. Louis. And the team that's the best on the road on the uh, puck line? Look at Philly. And I think Philly's on the no, they were last night in Chicago. 24 and 5. Hey, the gift that just keeps on giving. Seattle, 18 and 12, and Vancouver, 18 and 14. All right, there you have it. That is your SBI standings report today for a Thursday, February 22nd. Guys, check out the uh, the website. A lot of tools in the toolbox go to your dashboard every button you see is a feature here at the website and uh, you can come and learn a lot more about sports handicapping in fact go to our learn tab right here check out my book the 24-hour rule or go learn the rain report sports betting system and the five fundamentals of sports handicapping is this according to the rain report and this is my belief system you need shop for value what is the percentage play? Is it in your favor or the bookmaker's favor? What's the performance cycle of the team? Now, as a team, I always say, you know, if you chop up the, the, the seven-game series or seven-game um, cycle between teams, go look at every second game, 0-7, to 7-14, to 14-21. You're going to have to find that team in the right cycle when to bet them. Player availability, you know, I don't care about injuries. I just need to know who's going to be available. If the starting goalie's not there, we need to know who's going to be the, uh, the backup going in, who's available to play, right? The best uh, ability is availability, and that uh, we want to know who's available to play. And money management, right? At the end of the day, one of the best things I have here on the website to uh, give you a good tip on how to bet your games is you go to the uh, cards, go to NHL, hit the game MVP, MVP, MVI, market value index and go to the end of the uh, tab right here the bet units these are the units how much i recommend you based on the performance cycle the value on the on the teams what they're in right now and i let you know what um what recommendation of units i would recommend on those type of teams and always remember the a b's and c's right a type teams teams with a 60 or higher win percentage b type teams 50 to 59.9 
and C type teams, teams you can't trust, like an old high school sweetheart, teams below 500. Those are teams you, you put your beer and pizza money on. The B's and the A's, like Bill Parcell says all the time, you are what your record says you are. And um, and I'm going to leave you on this last note. Always remember this: when you look, go to your dashboard and go to the SBI. And, and always remember this when you're making your bet, right? If you're betting favorites, and if you look at the, ser- uh, the yearly average, you have a 59.7% chance of winning, which is pretty good, right? If you're betting underdogs, just know you only got a 40% chance of winning based on the uh, the record of the underdogs of this season, right? So which one do you like better? The 59.7, uh, so basically 20% better chance of winning but the thing is, you're going to say, but Ron, you know what? Taking favorites, I'm not going to lay like minus two. I'm not saying you're going to bet every game. Pick your spots. Pick your spots. And when you pick your spots, you're going to have a 60% chance of, of, of a better opportunity of winning your bet with a favorite than 40% with an underdog. And that's the tip of the day. All right, guys. Have yourself a great rest of your day. And I'll see you back here on a, uh, on a friendly Friday. Cheers.